Hi guys, it's Edge here from Curly K Naturals. I hope you're all doing well. As promised today, I'm gonna to be talking about film forming humectants. We've only got two minutes, so let's get into it. Otherwise, we're gonna be calling it Four Minute Fridays. Yeah. Firstly, let's talk about what humectants are and what do they do to your hair. So we all know that humectants draw moisture from the environment into your hair strands and that is great because it keeps your hair hydrated from wash day to wash day. However, guys, this is why a lot of people stay away from humectants in the winter because just as it draws moisture from the environment into your hair strand, it can also draw moisture from your hair strands into the air if there's not enough moisture in the air. For example, winter time, there's not much moisture or humidity around. So humectants will, will not hesitate at all to draw moisture from your hair into the environment. That's why a lot of people stay away from humectants in the winter month or they will opt for products that have humectants lower in the ingredients list than within the first five ingredients. So when you talk about humectants, most of the time you think of glycerin and honey. That's what normal humectants are. On the flip side of things, film forming humectants are humectants that have a mucousy feeling or a mucousy texture to it, as I mentioned last week. What it does is that it creates a film around your hair. Because it forms a film around your hair, it doesn't allow moisture to, to evaporate as quick from your hair strands like, let's say, a, a common glycerin would. You will notice that if you incorporate film forming humectants into your regime, rather than you going in and moisturizing every two to three days, it might hold off for a longer period of time. You'll only end up moisturizing your child's hair every, every three to four days, every four to five days. Some of the things you can look out for when it comes to film forming humectants in your products are things like marshmallow root, nettle leaf, sea moss, flaxseed like my video i just previously done xanthan gum guo gum even okra you notice most of these things do have a mucousy texture to it you can get film forming humectants that don't have a mucousy texture to it for example penthanol and nettle leaf these are also humectants but don't don't technically have a, a mucousy texture to it and lastly Film forming humectants and your method of choice go hand in hand with each other. Most film forming humectants are plant based gels like a flaxseed gel, oatmeal gel, all of these things are just natural gels. So if you want to start incorporating more film forming humectants in your regime, go and check out my previous video where I show you how to make um, a xanthan gum hair gel. If you're someone that has high porosity hair, this just gives you the extra coating that you need. So the way I like to use film forming humectants is that I like to go in with a little bit of the gel that I made previously or a styler that incorporates some form of film forming humectants in it. And I just like to go at the ends of my kid's hair and just seal the ends with it this is simply because we all know that the ends of our hair are the oldest parts of our hair so by just giving that extra coating i believe makes such a big difference yeah you. guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something new and catch me in the next one <laughs> catch me in the next one so guys until next week <laughs> peace <laughs>